Oh. Still at it? Yes. You never know when an enemy might appear. But I thought you couldn't scan outside of Tartarus. To be honest, I am indeed lacking in that area. Maybe this is the best Penthesilea can do in terms of data gathering. Though I must say, the power of Persona seems to be much more diverse than I once thought. We even have someone who can switch Personas in the midst of battle. There's something special about his ability. And it hasn't even been that long since his awakening. Yeah, I was surprised too. But in the end, it's up to him whether or not he reaches his full potential. Hmm? It's a shadow. What? You actually found one? Hey, something's not right. The reading is too big. I've never detected an enemy of this size. Wait. Is it like that huge one from last month? I think so. Oh, well then. This is gonna be fun. I'll wake up the others. We're here. Where is he? I'll rip it a new one. We've detected a shadow outside of Tartarus. We don't know for sure, but we think it's another big one like we saw last month. We must defeat any we find out there as quickly as possible. People may not be aware of the Dark Hour's existence, but if the city is destroyed during that time, inconsistencies will be left behind. In other words, we need to kick some ass, right? Well, count me in! <sighs> Junpei... Akihiko, you stay here and wait for the chairman. What? Are you kidding? I'm going! You still need time to recover. Like this, you'd only get in the way. What you say? They'll fare better than you in your current state. Have faith in them, Akihiko. They've already seen battle firsthand. <sighs> Damn it. Relax. I've got it covered. <sighs> Guess I don't have a choice. You're in charge. Him again? Can you do it? Good. We're counting on you. At this rate, you'll be stuck playing leader forever. I mean, not like I care. You should let the three of them go first. You need to get ready, right? Yes. Let's rendezvous in front of the station. Got it. All right, let's go. She'll be here soon. There's a full moon tonight. Looks even creepier during the dark hour. Huh? What the? Sorry to keep you waiting. Listen carefully. Tonight, I'll be providing support from here. Everything else is the same. The Shadow is currently located on a monorail not far from the station. To get there, you'll have to walk on the tracks. Uh... Are you serious? Isn't that... dangerous? Not to worry. Electronic equipment is rendered inoperable during the dark hour, including trains. But... your bike? This was specially made to handle it. Now, if circumstances change, I'll notify you immediately. All right, let's get started. Okay. Yeah! Let's do this! I think I'm gonna hurt. 
There should be a monorail about 200 meters ahead from where you are now. Get there as quickly as you can. We don't want any passengers to get hurt. Hell yeah! Jeez. This is it, right? Can you all hear me? Yes, loud and clear. We just got here, but I don't see anything out of the ordinary. The readings are definitely coming from that monorail. Proceed with caution and stay together. Got it. <laughs> My persona is just itching for a fight. Well then, let's head on in. Don't you dare look up. Yeah, yeah, I won't. Uh, hmm. But uh, don't blame me if I happen to catch a glimpse. Say, why don't we dig Junpei a nice grave? So that's uh, a person, right? Like a passenger? They've been transmogged. Creepy. But these guys aren't gonna remember a thing of all this, yeah? Probably better that way. Huh? Damn! It won't open! What's wrong? What happened? It looks like we're trapped inside. It must be the shadow. It knows you're there. Be ready for anything. Stay on full alert. Roger. So, uh... It's too quiet here. Huh? Where are all the shadows? Damn. I was all ready to go and everything. This place is so creepy. <gasps> there it is. Hey, get back here. Wait. The enemy is acting strangely. I have a bad feeling about this. If you don't go after it, we're gonna lose it. You're in command right now. What do you think of the situation? But why did it flee after revealing itself? I can't make sense of it. Just be careful. We can beat that thing, no problem! Hell, I'll do it myself! Do you pay? Wait! Watch out, it's behind you! Not much we can do about it now. You have to go after him or you'll be picked off one by one. Damn it, Junpei, what are you thinking? From what I can tell, he's only a few cars ahead. Okay, we'll catch up to. No, get out of our way! Finish the enemy. You take it from here. 
nothing to you. Well done. Let's continue exploring. What's up with Junpei? Did something happen? Kind of strange, wasn't he? Why do you snap and get so upset? Well, I guess we can ask him once we've caught up to him. Let's go. There he is! Oh no, he's surrounded by enemies! We gotta help him, quick! Junpei! I've got it under control! Let's go! I'll go with when you don't listen. Well, are you okay? Of course I am. I was doing just fine. Hey, what's your problem? Be careful, you three. I don't detect any movement, but stay alert. What the? Why are we moving? It looks like the entire monorail is under the Shadow's control. What? Is that really okay? Uh, this doesn't look good. If we don't stop it, it's going to crash into the next train. Crash? Hey, what are we gonna do? Calm down and listen. I detect a powerful reading in the front car that must be our target. You'll have to defeat that to stop the runaway train. Crap! What kind of messed up ride is this? I'll not that. Hurry? What are we even supposed to do here? 
I've never seen one this big before, but there's no time. We have to end this now! I'll go with... Valkyrie! In this situation, I won't lose! Let's see... Suck on death!
You're coming up on the next train fast. Damn it! I don't know how to stop this thing! Did... Did we stop? Uh, I think so. Do you read me? Is everyone all right? Uh, yeah. We're okay. <laughs> my, my knees are shaking. Dude, I'm like, drenched in sweat. <sighs> it sounds like you're safe. I'm sorry I couldn't do more to help on my end. I don't detect any more shadows. Well done. You can come on back now. Wait, how did you know which one was the break? <laughs> you saved me again. Thanks. Uh, you know what? Never mind. Anyone want to grab a bite to eat on the way? I'm freaking starving. It's me. Reporting in from the scene. We've just finished up over here. The monorail did not sustain any noticeable damage. A job well done, Kirijo-kun. Huh, when I heard they hijacked a monorail, I feared the worst. Excellent work taking care of that. Now I don't have to worry about tomorrow's headlines. The team did a great job. They've learned a lot in a surprisingly short time. But what was up with the shadows? They've never done something like hijacking a train before. This is getting out of hand. I'll be looking into the matter. Does this mean... it's begun? Hmm. Let's not jump to any conclusions. For now, we should study their behavior for patterns or clues. We can't afford to keep waiting for them to make the first move. If only I had more power. Things wouldn't be so difficult for everyone. Don't be so hard on yourself. You're doing fine. More importantly, do you have anything to drink, Sanada-kun? Huh? Why do you look so tired, Ikutsuki-san? Wait... Don't tell me that bicycle outside is yours. Boy, am I going to be sore tomorrow.
you have bad timing. My wife just headed out to GeckoCon. Well, uh, she won't be gone long. In the meantime, uh, why don't you keep me company? Uh, are you thirsty? Here, I I've got something we can share. Oh, wait. Where are the cops? Oh, I don't know how to find a thing around here without my wife. Oh, dear. You got back just in the... The tree. What's gotten into you, dear? Take a deep breath. You ought to know better than to walk so far at your age. Here, drink this. And here's some for you, too. Well, judging by her reaction, it seems the rumors might be true. The persimmon tree we told you about. You know, the one by the walkway at your school. My wife heard a rumor that it was going to be cut down. And she almost fainted. Do you know anything about this? You're so sweet. I'm worried too. I tried to look into these allegations, but I think I was barking up the wrong tree. If it's not too much trouble, could you tell us if you hear any more about it? I know I made it sound like something very important, but... Only if it's convenient for you. Tell us if you hear anything about the persimmon tree, all right? Hello, this is Elizabeth speaking. I would appreciate it if you could come to the Velvet Room. There is a matter I would like to discuss with you. Goodbye now. I apologize for asking you to come at such short notice. Truth be told, I'd like to ask you a favor. I've been searching for someone of exceptional ability. So if you have the time, do you mind taking on several of my requests? On special occasions, I may require you to escort me on certain excursions. Of course, you will be aptly rewarded for completing the request. I look forward to your cooperation and hope to see you demonstrate your capability. Here are my requests. Most excellent. Now. Oh my. You've... I will await a report of success. Oh, yes. By all means, you must know. Oh my. By all means. By all means. <laughs> By all means. Come to think of it. Nothing comes between us. Doesn't like ballerinas under the moonlight all night long. How these planets single seeds get painted so vividly.
marvelous. I'm looking forward to it. Here are my requests. Let's hear the results. Is that true? Await a report of success. Very well, then. stuff we got in stock. Take a look around, yeah? You got everything you need? Come again, yeah? Good day. Oh, yes. Please settle any unfinished affair. Here are my requests. Very well. My Let's hear the results. Come to think of it. Oh, my. Very well.
Understood. Good grief. Same school, right? One look at your uniform's all I need to know. Um, I'm kind of embarrassed to ask you this right off the bat, but... Would you mind not standing so close to me? You're too thin and too cool! If people start thinking we're best friends or something, I'm gonna end up as the uncool one! There you are. I thought your voice sounded familiar. You know what I'm here for. Now hand it over. Whoa! Not you! Uh, help! Uh, emergency! Uh, hey! You! Uh, call the fire truck! Uh, I mean the, uh, uh... Yes! Right! Uh, good thinking! Quit making a scene, all right? 
people are looking at me funny. I've got some business to take care of now, but you... You're no Zomi Suemitsu kun aren't you? I did my homework, see? You know I'm not letting you off that easy, right? I suggest you reconsider things. It was horrifying! My poor heart! I think it dropped into my coin purse for a minute there. My name is Nozomi Suemitsu. By the way, may I just say that you have a wonderfully big heart for someone so slim? Drama made me hungry. My stomach is definitely not amused. You want to tag along, friend? Shall I treat you to the finest dining? If so, you've come to the right place. For I am the king, the Gourmet King. That's right, Gourmet King 2009. Or was it 2010? Eh, whatever. And as the king, I know all the kingliest places for... Uh, uh, uh. Uh, my, my tummy! It's in horrible pain! I think it's an emergency! Sorry, but I'll treat you uh, another time. Welcome back. Isn't that right? to take over public transportation. I should investigate whether this means it's finally begun. The monorail. I bet this subject would make a good one-liner. <laughs> Lady Luck played a large part in our victory, especially toward the end. If he hadn't guessed at the right controls, things could have been very bad. For Shadows to work in a group to overrun large machines is unprecedented. The engine. That was an ingenious move. <laughs> what is it with me today? I'm on a roll. Ah, better write that one down, too. Always be prepared for heavy lifting during a mission. Because shadows aren't light. <gasps> oh, whoa, I'm getting a little off subject. Oh, but who cares? Hey, I should write all these down and show them off the next time everyone gets together. Don't care for seafood? They also serve... Ground beef. <laughs> oh, this has nothing to do with the status report anymore, but I'm having a blast. Uh, let's see, what else?
We were just talking about you. We've been feeling a bit guilty for troubling you about the persimmon tree. Oh, good one. I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> Glad you can joke around even at a time like this. Makes me feel like we're not so different, you and I. Lord knows I can't pass up a good pun. That persimmon tree is... is a reminder of our son. Actually, before his death, he was a teacher at GeckoCon. He planted that tree on graduation day with the students of his very first class. Just when we thought that tree was about to bear fruit. Why now? Why do they want to cut it down now? Thank you. I'm all right now. That made me feel a lot better. It's very comforting talking to you. Oh, wow! You've really gone and captured my wife's heart. You must be popular with the ladies. My wife's no sucker after all. I feel I'm looking at myself when I was in my prime. Don't fret too much about the tree. Just stop by when you have the chance. Oh, and uh, take this. It's left over from earlier, but it's still good. Well then, you take care of yourself. This is starting. Then... You got it.
okay? You get to pick. Already, I don't want to go home. I don't like it there. Can we stay here a little longer? Getting a divorce. I told them not to, but they won't listen. They probably don't care about me. <sighs> hey, you'll play with me again later, right? We're friends now. I'm here on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. You have to come see me, okay?
Welcome back.
look, dear. He's here. Try and perk up for the boy, all right? I understand their reasoning. But if... if they really go through with this, if we lose that tree, it would be like losing our son all over again. We're fine. We're not fighting. I was just fussing. Sorry for making you worry. Apparently the rumor about cutting down the persimmon tree was true. So we went to the school together to say our goodbyes. Unfortunately, that just reminded my dear of the pain we felt the day our son died. See, dear? That's exactly what I said. If you keep crying all the time, then what'll your admirers think? Right? Oh, my. Don't make fun of this wrinkled old lady. Stop by again anytime, all right? My wife would always be happy to see such a handsome young man. Here, take this for when you get hungry. Sorry, Mitsuru. I'm almost done. Yeah, she's letting me copy them. It covers the time I was at the hospital for my checkup. Akihiko, are you feeling unwell? You seem to be short of breath. I'll be fine. More importantly, why don't you help his studies? He ended up in the hospital right after transferring. Might need some help to make up for the class time he's missed. You do have a point. Here, these are my notes from last year. You can use them if you'd like. I don't think the content of the class has changed much since then. Your notes are as perfect as ever. They're easier to understand than the textbook itself. <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere. But I suppose I am rather particular about my note-taking. In class, I listen closely and write down bullet points. Then I organize them later into a more readable format. It's a bit time-consuming, but I find it's overall a more efficient way of reviewing the material. If you plan your day-to-day -day tasks effectively, test preparation is as good as done. You seem to have a knack for this. I'll teach you more of my study techniques next time. Mitsuru's right. Efficiency is key. We're all given the same amount of time. It's how well you manage it that can set you apart. Indeed. Not even a second of time should be wasted. On that note, shall we return to studying? All right, 
done. Huh? Akihiko, you're drenched in sweat. And that heavy breathing, are you sure you're... <sighs> I'm fine. I've just been squatting over my chair this whole time. Wanted to challenge myself to hold it until I was done with your notes. Working out while studying is quite an efficient use of my time. What do you say? Why are you like this? I thought I told you not to push yourself until you fully recovered. If you take efficiency too far, it'll backfire. Don't follow his example, okay? Well then, I think we've made a fair amount of progress. Let's call it a night. She's, she's crying because she's happy. She's an emotional woman, bless her heart. She's been like this since the day we met. You see, all the graduates from my son's class have come together. They're collecting signatures to save the persimmon tree. They say the tree is a memorial to their former teacher. They don't want it to be cut down. It was the same for our son's funeral. Many of them showed up for it. It's been so many years since then, but they still remember him. They've given their precious time for our son. I, I don't know what to say. I I'm so grateful. You must be the one who called on them for this, right? From the very beginning, from the first time I saw you, 
I knew you were different from the other kids around here. You're a samurai. A modern-day samurai. you know it, you'll graduate and step boldly into adulthood. Don't forget about us, you hear? Someday I'd love to grab a drink, you and me. But for now, you'll have to make do with this. See you again soon. I don't have much choice with Kurijo Senpai getting on my case. She was like, if you fail your midterm, there will be consequences. I feared for my life for a second. You guys are my only hope. Can you give me a hand here, please. You can start by taking this seriously. You've been distracted this whole time. As they say, it pays to be prepared. Gotta get myself in the right mindset first, right? A good study session needs a clean and organized workspace and the perfect mood for learning. And so, to set that mood, I, Junpei Iori, volunteer. What? Where is this coming from? You there, young man! What lecture would you like to hear from the great Junpei? History, arithmetic, literature? You'd like to hear about history, huh? <clears throat> well, this one is about a certain archaeological team. They spend their whole lives excavating, only to find nothing. In the end... If you say their career was in ruins, I will hit you. Oh, come on! Don't steal the punchline! And don't hit me either. Look, we all need a breather sometimes. What'd you think about the great June Pays lecture, dude? Right? Can't have a good study session without a good break. Oh, please. Don't let yourself get infected by June Pays influence. If we keep humoring you, it's going to impact our studies, too. Or maybe we should just let you fail. Find out what Kirijo Senpai's consequences are like firsthand. Whoa, let's not get hasty here. I was just joking around. Y'all get serious, I swear. Don't abandon me! like that, and then you take that and carry it over here, and then, uh, hey man, you mind giving me a little help with this one? Oh, look who's actually putting the effort in. That wasn't so bad, was it? About that joke I was telling earlier, should I pause before the punchline or go with the flow? Why don't we just pretend this guy doesn't exist and study on our own? Ugh, 
I guess that's enough studying for today. Thanks to you, I got a lot more done. The answer is May Blues. Next, for the following sentence. What's the matter, Yuri? Feeling the May Blues? What? Oh, uh, it's nothing. Um, Kirijo-senpai, about this question here? Hey, dude. Ah, oh, you smell that? It's insane. Know what I'm talking about? There's this floral scent coming from Kurijo Senpai's direction. Yeah, I know what you mean. To be honest, I can't get enough of it. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about, Sonata san. Man, this is heaven. Such grace, such elegance. Truly the fragrance of the upper class. I'd personally describe it as stimulating. Oh, I can almost taste the juicy tenderness. Uh, what? Oh, I was heating up a beef bowl for a late night snack. Smells pretty good, right? A beef bowl? That's what you were talking about? 
Not you too! Come on! As I guess should be thinking with our... Well, not our stomachs! Uh, <laughs> Sonata-san, you don't happen to have any extra, do you? No eating until you've gotten some work done. Stay focused, keep your hand moving. If you answer five more questions correctly, you can have your food. Yeah! <sighs> You're like a horse with a carrot dangled in its face. One mention of food and you finally give a crap. That's all it takes, huh? All right, that should be enough for tonight. Make sure not to eat too much before bed.
one time I left some tissues in the pocket of my running pants, and then I washed it without realizing. Oh, boy, did that make a mess. Oh, can you hang on a sec while I put my shoes on? Not again. It's the same stupid prank every time. Talk about unoriginal. At least my shoes are safe. Going that far would have been crossing the line. After the first few times, I stopped counting. I was pissed off at first, but eventually I just got used to it. Getting worked up about this would just tire me out. It's not worth it. But if I catch her in the act, I am fully prepared to grab her and teach her a lesson. Uh, that was a joke, okay? I'm a nice girl, really. Come on, let's go. So I figured this might be a good time to update our team uniform. What do you think of switching to running tights? They say it reduces wind resistance. Hey, look over there. It's Nishiwaki-san. Is that your new boyfriend? On to the next one already, I see. <sighs> Impressive, Nishiwaki-san. We're not dating. He's just a friend from the team. Come on. No need to act all polite in front of him. Just tell it how it is. I'm surprised you could even get such a handsome guy. Maybe I should become a team manager, too. You've got it all wrong, as usual. <laughs> Don't do it. You'll just be running around after everyone all day. And it's not very attractive for a girl to be so muscular, you know? <laughs> not so loud. Her boyfriend's, like, right here. <sighs> I kind of feel bad for her. That's really what you want to do. I won't stop you. But you're better off looking for a boyfriend elsewhere. A manager is a busy job. You won't have time to go around sticking gum on people's shoe lockers. What on earth are you talking about? <laughs> I haven't got a clue what that means. Of course not. It was just a random example. What's wrong? Did I say something to offend you? Not at all. Hey, uh, let's just go already. Sorry you got dragged into that. No, you shouldn't have to deal with that. Sorry. Oh, I should probably fill you in, or you get the wrong idea about me. Let's go sit down. That girl in the black tights, we went to the same middle school. Back then, there was this boy on the basketball team who asked me out, and we started dating. But, turns out, he was seeing her at the same time. When she found out, she said I stole her boyfriend even though I was a victim, too. She blamed me because I was the manager of the basketball team. Isn't that just ridiculous? And after I became the track team manager here in high school, that set her off on me again. But really, all I want to do is support others so they can be the best they can be. Remember the gum on my locker? That was probably her doing. She's definitely the type to hold a grudge. Oh, those girls have way too much time on their hands. All they do is complain and gossip. Why don't they do something more productive? They're the ones who should get a lecture from Akoda. They're not putting enough thought into your future. Tell that to them, not me. Oh, that reminds me. Sorry for what they said about you. They called you my boyfriend. Must have made you feel awkward, huh? Hey, you! How can you say that with a straight face? And how many other girls have you used that line on, huh? When it comes to relationships, you should never play with a woman's emotions. Oh, right. Make sure you don't tell Kaz or anyone else about the two-timing thing, okay? You're the only one I've told. Oh, also, I broke up with that two-timing jerk a long time ago. Just so you know, uh, you might be thinking, so what, right? Yeah, <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> Wow, 
that drag on. It's late. We should be getting home. You're back. Senpai, I hear you made a full recovery. Congrats, man! I gotta catch up on my training. I've basically been slacking off for a whole month. Shouldn't you take it easy, though? You don't want to re-injure your arm. I've already wasted enough time. Besides, we found another Persona user. We did? Sweet! Hi there, girl. Yeah, she's a second year who goes to our school. Fuka Yamagishi. Do you guys know her? Yamagishi? I think she's in class E. I don't see her at school very much. She gets sick a lot from what I heard. She was at the same hospital as me. That's how we found out about her. But considering her health, she probably won't be able to fight. <sighs> it's too bad. We already had an evoker ready for her too. What? We're giving up on her already? But I was gonna offer her some private lessons. <sighs> Why are you looking at me like that? Uh, come on. I just quit it, okay? I'm going to do it. Good, good. Not bad. Thanks, kid. Bye bye.
Excellent. Are you finished? I too. Which will you choose? Seeing what personas come to be is a great joy of mine. This persona is pop. Please choose what skills to inherit. It seems no new power. <laughs> A new power emerges. <laughs> this is your progress so far. This person is this acceptable? Very well, it's yours. Are you finished? We look for... Good day. Here are my requests. Very well then. What'd you bring? All done here? Hmm? You finished? Come back soon. Thanks for all your hard work today. Well then, please excuse me. Oh, can I borrow you for a moment? I'd like to hear your opinion on something. It's nothing serious, but some students think the school uniform should be abolished and they're gathering supporters. Yes, because it is nonsense. They think freedom is a life without rules. It's ridiculous, plain and simple. Without rules, the whole system will collapse. They're mistaking selfishness for freedom. Sorry, overreacted a bit there. I hate people with no common sense. I have very little desire to talk to them. And don't take that the wrong way. I just want you to understand where I'm coming from. Why don't you head on home? I'll lock up here when I'm finished. Get home safely. Perfect timing. Would you mind heading to the rooftop with me? A 
quick answer. I like that. Uh, it isn't anything important. I just wanted to show you something. And I just so happen to have the key to the rooftop. Hmm. Now then, shall we go? Do you recall fighting that shadow here on the rooftop a little while back? Well, while cleaning up the aftermath, I happened upon some planters and gardening tools. And I couldn't help myself from setting up our own little garden. So, what do you think? Not too shabby, huh? Ah, you have impeccable taste. I'm glad my efforts didn't go unappreciated. Unfortunately, I can feel my back giving out after all that hard work. Do you happen to know a good chiropractor? But I digress. There is, in fact, a reason I brought you here. I'd like you to use these planters however you see fit. Although I did set them up, I'm afraid that I won't be able to tend to a garden as often as I'd like. I did mention it to Kirijo-kun, but it didn't catch on. I suppose due to her upbringing. Besides, you're able to cook meals at the dorm, correct? Well, now you can grow your own vegetables for healthy eating. Uh, I'm glad you think so. It would mean a lot to me if you made good use of the planters. Once you get started, you'll find there's a lot that can be done. Of course, you're free to do whatever you want. Here are some seedlings. Go ahead and plant them if you like. You should be able to purchase other types of seedlings around the city. Feel free to experiment. Well, that's everything. And now, it's time to raise the roof and elevate this garden to new heights. And to top it off, eat your veggies, peas. Yeah, 
Emiri is... Oh, that's Miss Kano's first name. Anyway, Emiri's really popular with the guys. And I kind of took her away from them, you know? Like she became my girl before they even had a chance. Turns out Emiri's a really strict teacher when it comes to grades. At home, though, she's a real sweetheart. I love how her attitude changes when she's with me. Yeah, good-looking people just flock together, you know? It's like a law of attraction. I know, right? It's like we're actually in a TV show. Anyway, what about you? Make any progress with Takeba-san? I feel guilty hogging all the happiness, so I'm gonna wish for you to be happy, too. And hey, don't tell anyone about me and Emiri, okay? Because teachers aren't allowed to date students. I only told you because I trust you. Look at the time. I'm way behind on my favorite show. Well, I guess that's because real life is way better than any show right now.
my Dodagiri. I'm counting on you. For both our sakes. I understand. Oh! Hey, Odagiri, what was that about? What did he mean by for both our sakes? He just wants to create a better school environment, so he simply asked a student fit for the job. Just like how the president asked him to join the student council to help out. What? You can't decide something like that without talking to the president first. Someone found a cigarette butt in the boys' bathroom. And that teacher wants the disciplinary committee to look into whose it was. Someone has broken school rules. It's only natural that I'm involved in finding and holding the transgressor accountable. Look, you have two choices. Either help out and prove you can be trusted, or refuse and prove you can't. <sighs> People like you and me have to deal with a lot of crap around here, don't we? Be excusing myself. Hey! Don't ignore me! You kiss ass! Student council members shouldn't be fighting like this, should they? I better go tell the president!
Sorry, man, but I've got to pass this time. I'm just so torn. I really do want to hang out with you. No, no time for ramen today. I gotta go check out that cram school. I mean, getting into college is pretty important, don't you think? You think about the future too, right? Oh, dude. I didn't know you were so serious about your future. I never really thought about my future until Emiri told me I should. She said I'd end up a loser if I didn't. But the future's a long way off. I mean, I still have to go to college first, right? Apparently, a bunch of Emiri's students go to good colleges. She must be thinking about our future together. You ought to think about your future too, man. I'd hate to see you end up becoming a loser, you know? That's why we gotta work our asses off for our futures. Later, I'm heading to cram school. Welcome back. Huh? No. Yeah.
workout. I gotta teach those first years how to clean up properly. I pretended to take a picture with my cell phone, and she totally freaked out and started crying. It was like we caught her red-handed or something. You should have seen the look on her face. It was priceless. Wow, that's pathetic. <laughs> I've never laughed so hard in all my life. <laughs> They're making fun of someone? Bullies. Huh? Did you hear... a voice? It's... calling me. Huh? What voice? I don't hear anything. Oh. Uh, Maki? What's going on? Are you listening to me? Maki? Hello? Are you feeling all right? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, what were we talking about? <sighs> They're finally gone. Ugh, I can't stand girls like that. I don't think we're gonna get to eat together like this anymore. To be honest, something's been on my mind. I saw a magazine in Emmy Reed's room. Guess what it was called? How'd you guess? Man, you're amazing. When I saw that magazine, it got me thinking. And I've made up my mind, man. As soon as I graduate high school, I'm gonna marry Emmy Reed. You think that's a good plan? Seriously in love with Emiri, and I'm gonna marry her. Then, Emiri Kana will be known as Emiri Tomochika, and I will make her the happiest wife ever. <laughs> Sorry, I just want you to back me up, you know? Times I'll get to walk home with you like this. Welcome back.
I've gotten a lot of my edge back since I've been able to focus on my training. I've been meaning to thank you for that. <laughs> You've really stepped up as our leader. So tonight's on me. You've got enough responsibility as it is. <laughs> you really are something else. I knew I had a good feeling about you. Just don't push yourself too hard. Things will get easier with experience. And if you need anything, let me know. I'll do whatever I can to help. Uh, excuse me. Oh, I knew it! You're Sonata-san from Gekukon High! I heard you lived in Iwatodai. But, wow! I never thought I'd run into you here! We're big fans of yours! Please, can we get a picture with you? I'm busy, and I don't like having my picture taken. I kept hearing rumors that you were injured. Uh, are you okay now? Do you need any help? I is there anything I can bring you? Who do you think that is? Not sure. Celebrity, maybe? Wanna go see? Let's go. I've had this problem at school, but I didn't think it happened out here, too. It's probably because of those interviews, or the rumors online. I've gotten all kinds of attention as I've kept up my winning streak. <laughs> you could say that again. I'm not some panda in a zoo for everyone to gawk at. All I want is to be as strong as I can. I want to train hard and feel real pride in my strength. But all I ever seem to get is more trouble. Mm. All right, looks like they've given up. Let's head out to eat, for real this time. We only have so many hours left in the day. Hey, don't be like that. I know a place that'd be perfect for us, girl. Please, just leave us alone. We're not interested. One drink, that's all we're asking. Come on, it'll be fun. We said no, okay? Hey. Leave them alone. You don't want the police to get involved, do you? Huh? Who the hell are you? What? You want to call the cops? Quit trying to act like a big man, you little punk. Yeah, time for you to piss off. You piece of... Hold up. You got some slick moves. I bet you know how to fight, all right? So what if I do? How about you and I go a few rounds? If you ain't too busy, there's a spot around back. Whenever I see guys who think they're hot shit, all I want to do is put them in their place. I bet a lot of people call you a tough guy. So how about we put it to the test? <sighs> what, is he scared now? <laughs> see? I told you. Nothing but trouble. Stay here. I'll be done in a minute. What? You think you're gonna beat me just like that? Don't worry. I won't go all out against an amateur. It's gotta be a fair fight. <sighs> hey! Over there! Break it up! <sighs> Let's beat it. I told you, officer. They were the ones antagonizing us. And I told you we'll hear all about it down at the station. You're high school students, aren't you? We'll need your contact information to notify your parents about this. If I could butt in. And Kurosawa-san. I'll handle these two. I've already cleared it with the brass. I don't know what's going on here, but you better not be starting any trouble. Yeah. 
Then why'd we get a report from two ladies saying you were attacked by a group of punks? They wanted to test my strength. I was just giving them what they wanted. In the middle of a public street? You really need to think things through. Listen, I'm an officer of the law. I don't care who you are. Anyone who disturbs the peace is gonna have to deal with me. As you can see, your friend here is a bit of a hothead. I know it won't be easy, but try and keep an eye on him, would ya? Those are some bold words, but thanks. My arm's healed, and we've got way more dependable people now. There's no better time to test my strength, especially now that we have someone like you. We really lucked out on that one. So I'm gonna keep honing my skills. That way, I can put down anyone I face with my own two hands. <laughs> you really haven't changed at all. In any case, don't get in over your heads. I have a hunch the guys you ran into were from a gang that's been active around here recently. Just be careful. You don't want to get on their bad side, because once you're on it, you'll never get off. All right, it's late. You better head on home. So much for eating out. It's been non-stop interruptions all night. <sighs> Kurosawa-san's right, though. We should probably head home. Sorry about this. I'll treat you some other time. I'm gonna do some jogging on the way back. You wanna join? Good answer. It's dark, so watch out for cars. I'm gonna run ahead. You just follow at your own pace. talking about it people sure got a lot of time on their hands so you hear about it too the girl from 2e went missing while she was out late last night and this morning they found her lying in front of the school gate nobody knows what happened and supposedly she's still unconscious morning yo yukatan man this is a tough case even for Junpei Yori, Ace Detective. <laughs> Ace Detective? You're so dumb. Hmm. More like stupid, Ace Defective. Where'd that come from? Actually, now that I think about it, I haven't seen you all morning. Where you been? I was talking to the teacher, and that girl they found. I saw her yesterday on my way back from practice. She seemed just fine then. Huh. The plot thickens.
you're finally here. We've been waiting for you. I wanted to tell you the good news as soon as possible. It's about a customer who came by earlier. Who do you think it was? Here's a hint. Signature. That's right. How'd you guess? One of my fans came by. He said he'd bring the rest of the fan club next time. Yeah, <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Actually, it was one of the organizers of a campaign to save the persimmon tree. He said, let's protect the tree together. He's already gathered a number of signatures from students who are in our son's class. Everyone's banding together to honor the memory of our son. He really was loved by many. Of course. He was our proud son. I'm sure he's just as happy as we are. All right. Let's go to GeckoCon right now. I have to tell my son the good news. That's my boy. <laughs> Music to my ears. <laughs> I've never been so excited to go for a walk before. Let's race to the persimmon tree. I won't lose. Not even to a youngster like you. All right, dear. We'll be back. Thanks for watching the store. Dear, there's a mistake there. That's not how you write, GeckoCon. I know, I know. I hardly ever write it, so I just forgot how it looked for a second. I feel a little bad for all the people who've been campaigning to save the tree. Oh! <laughs> Speak of the devil! Uh, I'm writing a letter. Something I haven't done in ages. I'm used to the keyboard doing all the work for me. 
Why, is that surprising? I'm actually quite the net surfer, you know. Oh, oh no, no, don't look. I'm shy. <laughs> we'll tell you when the time is right. Are you curious about the letter? Excited, perhaps? Even exhilarated? We are, too. Your enthusiasm is contagious, you know. Just talking with you is enough to make our hearts race. Just look at my wife. She's as giddy as a schoolgirl. Said, I hope we can wrap up the matter before your next visit. I see you back. Odagiri, is he absent today? Um, no. I'm pretty sure he came to school today. Then where is he? Probably busy playing detective asshole. Ah, so this is what Fushimi was telling me about. I see. Well, his intentions are good, so you can't really blame him. Oh, uh, you're all free to leave now. Good work today. You hear me? I want to see evidence, smart guy. I don't need evidence. I already know everything about you. Like how you were arrested for beating up that guy in the park who snitched on you, right? Whoa. He's still at it? <laughs> this is the third time today. My boyfriend was so pissed after he was accused. These guys are really asking for it. Keeping quiet will only make things worse for you. If it's really not you, then give me some names. And don't worry, I won't tell anyone. You have my word as a member of the disciplinary committee. Better fuck off, asshole. Don't 
think I'll just let you get away with that. Oh, hey, what is it? Did you need something from me? You bet I am. If we turn a blind eye here, there's no stopping this from happening again. And once it spirals out of control, there will be nothing we can do. We should nip this problem in the bud while we still can. I know what people think of me. Then again, those who fight for justice have always butted heads with others. History speaks for itself. So let my actions serve as a warning to other offenders. A sensible person like you should understand, right? Going to keep at it for now. You should head home before it gets dark. Hey, you could talk. You ever check out the student message boards and stuff? You know how last week that girl was found by the front gate? Well, now. They're saying it was an angry spirit from this one ghost story that did it. Come on, nobody really believes that stuff, right? What's this ghost story about? What? It's probably made up. We don't need to go into details, do we? I'm interested. Go on, tell us. Mm. You got it. Here goes. Good evening, and welcome to Junpei's Believe It or Don't. There are many strange things in this world. Legend has it, late at night, after everyone has gone home, a maniacal ghost roams the halls and devours anyone caught in its grasp. The other day, this friend of mine, let's call him Witness A, anyway, he said to me, Hey, Iori, I saw something weird the other day. He sounded so serious, so I asked him what he'd seen. He told me he saw the girl from 2E and claims he watched her go into the school on the night before the incident. I told him I don't believe it, not even for a second. That girl from 2E ain't the type to go wandering around at night. But Witness A was as white as a sheet. He swore to me it was true. Then it hit me. If the girl was found unconscious at school, then maybe the ghost really did make her its dinner. It all made sense. She went to the school at night and walked right into its deadly trap! I felt a chill run down my spine, and I broke into a cold sweat. Yes, there truly are some strange things in this world. Believe it, or don't. What do you think, Akihiko? Seriously? Not one word about my amazing performance just now? I'm not so interested in the ghost part, but it does sound like it's worth investigating. So, you're afraid of ghosts, huh, Yukata? Didn't know you were such a chicken. What? Who are you calling a chicken? Fine then, let's investigate it. Each of us will ask around for the rest of the week and gather information. This ghost story is just a bunch of nonsense. I'll show you. Sounds good to me. The story is a bit unnerving, isn't it? Huh? Well, leave it to you guys then. Would have been too scary for me.
Good evening. I'm back, just as I promised. How have you been? I'm glad you remember me. In another week, the moon will be full again. The next ordeal will be upon you. Be careful. Until next time. Morning. Action. Yes, precisely. is still in work yet. Oh, bonjour. I haven't seen you since the bookstore. You came. What a pleasant surprise. I am so happy to see you. I am training in the art of sewing. I am in this fashion club in order to own my sewing craft. Would you like to join me? It is Tenoshi. Very fun. If I may be so bold, would you sign up for my club? Honto? Really? Hatoji Kanai. Many thanks. I am thrilled to have a new member. I am here on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. But it may be closed when we have exams. I have not made any good Tomodachi uh, friends, so it is very sabishi, very lonely. Maybe it is because I do not fit in. But now you are here! The Divine Fates have brought us together! I am 
Best way to say bye to a friend, as in, what is the most culturally accepted? I understand perfectly. See you later. How many times do I have to explain it? It's like I'm talking to a moron. Why would you even accuse me? The cigarette butt was in the boys' bathroom, right? Then can you prove it wasn't a girl who brought it and left it there? <sighs> with that logic, this is never gonna end. I'm done with this. You're on your own. Neanderthals. Try not to hold it against them. They think like children. They just can't help it. Sooner or later, they'll see the light. Then I'll earn their trust, and they'll learn to respect me. I don't mean to isolate myself. I'm just remaining detached. Someone always gets hurt in any relationship sooner or later. I suppose I've gone on long enough. I, I apologize. Ugh. 
No point in having a meeting today if no one else is here. Let's go.
to do something by today? I told you! I know, I know! I'm kidding! Man, you've got such a short temper. Fine, then we'll meet in the lounge after school. Don't forget! Yes, ma'am. the personas you would like to fuse. This person, what do you wish to inherit? It seems no new power. <laughs> Why, this is exciting, isn't it? Summoning this very well, it's yours. Very well. We look for What's up? I was just gonna sneak back into practice. My mom's been on my case. She took me to the hospital. She insisted after I told her about my knee. She made the appointment without telling me, so there was nothing I could do. You said it. I don't get why my mom and the rest of the team are acting like this. It's exhausting having everyone up in your business. Today they took some x-rays. They'll give me the results in a few days. Not sure why that has to take so long. Oh hey, don't tell anyone about me going to the hospital, right? I'm counting on you. 
I feel bad for always asking you to keep things quiet. Sorry about that. Doctor told me to take it easy today, but we should still get to practice. Oh, wait, if you're leaving, that means practice is already over. Well, guess I'll just go home. See ya. As we agreed on Monday, we'll now hold a meeting to discuss what we've learned. Wow, you're really into this. Of course I am. I got lots of good info. And it turns out there was no angry ghost involved. Oh, so that's what's important, huh? First off, let's talk about how this rumor got started. The girl was found on the school grounds, so it does match the ghost story on that point. But why did the rumor spread so fast if this was the first time anything happened? I message? Uh, the victim isn't dead. But yeah, I was surprised when I found out. After that first incident, the exact same thing happened to two other students. All three victims had to be hospitalized. No wonder people thought it was a ghost. Okay, moving on. The victims were all in different classes. And at first glance, they don't seem to be connected. But they did have one thing in common. Anyone know what it was? What is this? A quiz show? Do you know? What did all three victims have in common? Hello? We already know that. <laughs> they hung out together, dummy. Not just once or twice, either. They all got in with a bad crowd and were always out late. Considering they all ended up the same way, it can't just be a coincidence. So, to find out what happened, we're gonna do some field research. What? Field research? Yep. There's one place where all three victims were regulars. Whoa, hang on. You're not talking about that spot behind Port Island Station, are you? Oh, you know about it? Dude, you can't go there. I've heard all kinds of nasty rumors about that place. Oh, really? Well, then all the more reason we should go together. You're coming with, right? Now we're talking. Oh, man. I don't know about this. That place is seriously bad news. Do we really have to go there? Up until now, all we've done is follow orders. Isn't it about time we start thinking for ourselves? I know what you mean, but... Man, you have to say it like that. I guess I don't have a choice, do I? Then it's settled. We'll go tomorrow night, so plan accordingly.
okay? Are you sure you don't mind or anything? I mean, um, I'm glad you're willing to, uh, but... Uh, oh, right. I, I'm not very good at talking to boys. There are a lot of guys in the student council, though, so I should work on that. Oh, the school is almost out. Let's go. about uh, what to say i was trying to come up with a topic you might be interested in senpai but i couldn't think of anything this is your todai dorm right do you live here my house is in the other direction S sorry i knew we were going the wrong direction but i I couldn't bring myself to say anything. Um, I know you took time out of your schedule just for me, so thank you very much for today. about this some more i still think this is a bad idea how are you scared of ghosts but totally fine with this because stuff you can't see is way creepier actually i'm more worried about the things i can't see like bats and knives <laughs> big deal so it's a little dangerous come on let's strike while the iron's hot strike Actually excited about this? Check out those rags. They're from Gecko High. Oh man, this is even worse than I thought. You must have taken a wrong turn. This place ain't for you, buddy. Uh, well, uh, I. What I'm saying is, you being here is ruining our vibe. Beat it, goatee. Goatee? Oh, <laughs> you mean me. We don't need your permission to be here. Hey, are you nuts? Read the room, won't you? I can read just fine. Come on, don't be intimidated by these punks. What'd you just say? She just called us punks. Come on, let's post some pictures that'll make her daddy cry. Hope you've been practicing your sexy poses. <laughs> oh boy, that's too good. These guys are scum. Oh, so now we're scum, huh? Man, I feel sorry for you, goatee. This bitch is a real pain in the ass, isn't she? Jinpei! <laughs> <laughs> that's 
enough. They didn't know what they were getting into. I'll make sure they leave. You good with that? Who do you think you are, dumbass? They're not walking out of this. You want some too? Ugh, shit! Son of a bitch! You just crossed the line. You think you're going home alive now? Should we find out? Uh... No? Well, maybe not. <laughs> oh, man. What a loser. Bastard. Your name's Aragaki, right? Yeah. Now I remember. Shinjiro Aragaki. You're from Gecko High, too, aren't you? Damn it, you're gonna regret this! Oh man, Senpai! That was awesome! I remember you. You guys were in Aki's room at the hospital. You idiots. Go home. You don't belong here. Wait! Sorry, but there's something we need to know before we leave. Did Aki tell you to come here? Hmm. Well, what do you want to know? Is this about that ghost story? <laughs> yes, that's right! How'd you know? The rumor's been going around. Those girls who wound up in the hospital were here talking shit every night. They'd brag about all the stuff they did to some girl named Yamagishi. Yamagishi? You mean Fuka Yamagishi from 2E? They were picking on her? That's why people are saying it's Yamagishi's ghost that did it. Yamagishi-san's ghost? Wait, what do you mean by that? You guys don't know? This Yamagishi girl might be dead. I heard she hasn't been home in over a week. Wait, what? I thought she was just out recovering. So, you mean she's still missing? So much for that ghost story. Mr. Akoda is the homeroom teacher for 2E, right? Does he know about this? I get it, Aki. Still trying to make up for the past. Hmm. It's you who can't let go. Huh? Nothing. Anyways, it's all I know. We done here? It'll be fine. Yeah, totally. Thanks a lot. Come on. Show some appreciation. I didn't do nothing. Thank you for helping us. And for sharing what you know. That was really nice of you. Huh? Oh, uh, sorry. Just don't come here again. soon.
Senpai, why are you here? Same reason you are. Mr. Ikoda, I'm here to ask you about a student named Fuka Yamagishi. No! Please, I... I never thought it'd turn out this way, Fuka. Hey, I remember you. 
What did you do to Yamagishi? Hold on, Kiri Jokun. This isn't an interrogation. Stop scaring her. Moriyama, you don't have to say anything if you don't want to. You wouldn't want to give her the wrong idea. Puka, she... she always looked so frazzled whenever I gave her a hard time. That's when I realized. She may be a model student, but deep down, she's just like us. And because of that, I knew exactly which buttons to push. You were just messing with her earlier that day, too. It was May 29th. We took Fuka to the gym and locked the door from the outside. Wait, what? You trapped her inside? That night, Maki got worried Fuka might commit suicide, so... She went back to the school by herself, but she never came back. And the next morning... She was found lying outside the front gate. I went to the gym to let Fuka out, but the door was still locked. So I opened it and went inside, but... She wasn't there. We all freaked out. Starting that night, we went out looking for her, but every night... Another one of us wouldn't come back. And then they all ended up like Maki. I see. Mr. Okoda, all this time you've been reporting Yamagishi as absent due to illness. But the truth of the matter is that she was missing. You had to have known this. Explain yourself. I was thinking of the students, of course. You children may not understand, but we have to consider the future of everyone affected. So you chose not to report a missing child for the good of the class, and not because you didn't want the police involved. It... it was in her best interest. I wouldn't want her records to be stained by something like this. Her parents agreed. So to protect your career, you ignored your responsibility as a teacher. Despicable. Desp... no! I... I, I didn't mean... Uh, I, I was just... Uh, that's enough. You can go now. We'll handle the rest. W wait but... Don't worry. This won't be the last you'll hear of this. Oof. About your friends. Did you notice anything unusual about them before they went missing? Anything at all? A voice. A creepy voice. They all mentioned it right before they went missing. They said they could hear it, calling their name. Oh, man. Senpai, could it be? It's them, no doubt about it. Up until now, we've never been able to predict who exactly would become aware during the dark hour. This voice must be the key. In other words, it doesn't just happen randomly. They actually get drawn in. I realize now, after seeing all of this, they're clearly targeting humans. Shadows are most definitely the enemy of mankind. Stay at our dorm tonight. That should be the safest place. If you hear the voice, tell us immediately. And don't leave your room no matter what happens. If you can manage that, you should be fine. Don't worry. Yamagishi should be alright as well. Luka. <laughs> Iori and Takeba too. We'll meet after school in the student council room to discuss tonight's operation. Tonight? Yes. We are going to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. If my guess is right, she's still inside the school. Understood. Good. You're all here. Tonight, we're infiltrating the campus. Our objective is to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. Uh, I don't get it. Are you saying Yamagishi is inside the school somewhere? And why are we doing this at night? At midnight, this place turns into... Exactly. That's how Yamagishi wandered into Tartarus. Wait! You mean Yamagishi-san's been over there ever since she got locked in the gym? That's right. That was ten days ago! No matter how you look at it, she's gotta be... Don't lose hope just yet. Tartarus only appears during the dark hour. So where does it go for the rest of the day? That's 
a good point. This is just a theory. But I think time flows differently in Tartarus. So even though it's been 10 days for us, it could have only been 10 hours for her. There's a chance she's still alive. Wow, you think so? But wait, isn't the dark hour pretty brutal though? Even for us, how could she last 10 days worth in there? That is true. And even if she is still alive, we might not be able to get to her. Are you just gonna abandon her then? I have an idea. Let's try to enter Tartarus the same way Yamagishi did. We'll go to the gym and wait for midnight. That'll be the quickest way. Is that really gonna work? In all honesty, I can't say I fully agree with this. If something goes wrong, you could all end up lost in Tartarus too. But... I'm not just gonna stand here and do nothing. If there's a chance we can save her, I'd never forgive myself. If you guys aren't with me, then I'm going in on my own. Senpai? All right, we know it's risky, but we also can't just leave her there. Right, and we won't know until we try. Guess we're sneaking into the school then. <laughs> in that case, I've got just the thing. You do? No answer. This is a problem. I can't get a hold of the chairman. Well, that's not a big deal, right? There is one issue. Without the chairman's help, I'm not sure how we can get inside the school. No need to worry. I've got it all set. All set. An explosive? <laughs> All right. I'll let you handle this. There's no time to waste. Let's go. An actual explosive? Uh, no. Uh, all I did was unlock a door. We got in no problem. Man, I'm a genius. Is there really something to brag about here? So you unlocked it earlier. Très bien. Oui, good job. We should find somewhere to get ourselves ready. Your classroom should work, right? Uh, what? Trey Ben? Is that French or something? Why are they talking in different languages anyway? Can we turn on the lights? Aw, you scared? No, I'm not. <laughs> Stupé. Hey, that's uncalled for. Quiet. We need to get started. It's better for us if the lights are off. They cut the power at night anyway. I don't really like sneaking around. First, we have to find the key to the gym. It should be in either the faculty office or the janitor's room. You three check the faculty office. Akihiko and I will take the janitor's room. After that, we'll meet in the main hallway on the first floor. Understood? So, we're searching the faculty office, huh? Hey, maybe we'll find some test questions. <laughs> Maybe I should go to the faculty office, too. It sounds interesting. You're not planning to do something unethical under my supervision, are you? I suppose you'll need to be executed. Hey, come on! Obviously, I was joking! <laughs> All I meant by interesting was that there's a higher chance of finding the key there. Enough with the excuses. Let's head to the janitor's room. Yori, you're coming with us. All right, let's get this over with. Do you hear something? What? There's someone else here? We gotta hide! <sighs> it 
was just the security guard. Of course I don't. We already know it's not a ghost. And besides, I'm not that afraid of... My phone! Why now? And of course, it's just spam. I mean, that would freak most people out, right? Come on, the thing just rang out of nowhere. Uh, what? That's not funny, you know. This one. What? Are you trying to scare me or something? Mm, you better watch out. What goes around comes around, buddy. Wait a minute. This is the key to the gym. Okay, let's go. We're supposed to meet up with everyone in the main hallway. Did you find the key? Sure did. You know, I heard a scream that sounded kind of familiar. Huh? Wait, you actually did? I was just kidding. You want to take this outside? Guys, come on. All right, we'll divide into teams again. Three of you will enter Tartarus, and one of you will remain outside with me. Once the dark hour begins, I'll pinpoint Yamagishi's position. I'm going in. You come too. You can take the lead as usual. Uh, then I'll be the third. Wait a second, Yukatan. Remember how I accidentally screwed up on the monorail? Give me a chance to make up for that. Oh, come on. It's not always about you. Besides, you didn't accidentally screw up. All right, Junpei, we'll give you another shot. And with that, the teams are set. Sweet. Thanks. What? What's wrong, Takeba? Do you have a problem staying with Mitsuru? Uh, no, no. It's fine. It's almost time. Let's go. from them. The transmission range is at max, too. Uh, I hope that girl Moriyama is okay at the dorm. Unfortunately, no place is completely safe in the dark hour, but we couldn't risk bringing her here. And having one of us stay behind to watch her wasn't an option either. Yeah, I guess so. We are all here for Yamagishi-san's sake. I'm here. I've confirmed your position. You're higher up than I expected. You're barely in communication range. Is everyone all right? I don't know. Got stuff right. Akihiko! Come in, Akihiko! Uh, is he out of range? That's worrying.
Are you awake? This is the first time we've spoken outside of your room. Don't worry. You'll see them soon. But we don't have much time to talk. Tonight, there is more than one ordeal you must face. You should hurry. She's waiting for you. You guys will need her. See you. I hope we meet again.
this one. worried about you I don't think we should enter Tartarus this way again oh yeah did you hear a voice on your way here yeah kind of like who's there are you human it, that's it that's the voice wait didn't that come from behind us Are you Fuka Yamagishi? Yes! Wow! You're alive! That's awesome! Never fear, the heroes are here! Good to see you're okay. Come with us. Thank you so much. I... Y yes, I'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just so relieved. Looks like I made the right call then. I'll see if I can contact Mitsuru. What is this place? One second I was at school, and then... Uh, it's kind of a long story. We can explain after we get out of here. Mitsuru, can you hear me? Mm, no good. All I hear is static. Oh, are you hurt anywhere? You've probably seen the monsters wandering around, right? So, there is something dangerous in here, then. I've gotten by without them finding me so far. Wait. You've avoided them this entire time? How is that possible? Um, it's hard to describe, but I can sort of tell where they are. What do you mean? Are you saying you're psychic or something? She has the same power as Mitsuru, actually. She might be even stronger. Mitsuru's persona is always more combat-focused to begin with. Persona? Hang on to this. Huh? Wait, is this... is this a gun? Think of it as a lucky charm. It doesn't actually fire bullets. Um... okay... Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, check out the moon. It's huge. I don't think I've ever seen it so bright. There's some research that indicates the shadows are affected by the phases of the moon. Although the same thing is true about humans. That would explain Yucatan's mood swings. Hey, wasn't it a full moon the night we went to the monorail? Hmm? It was. Uh, is something wrong? Hey. Did you see the moon on the night the dorm was attacked back in April? Today is June 8th. The monorail incident happened on May 9th. And the assault in the dorm was on April 9th. They were all on a full moon! Mitsuru, are you there? Up, uh, Nico. Shut those up. Hey, can you hear me? Mitsuru, come in! Be careful. Mitsuru? Mitsuru! 
What is that? It's much bigger than the others. And it's attacking someone. Damn it! What the hell's going on? Totally lost here. It's one of them. My guess is right. They come every full moon. We've got to hurry. Hey! Wait for me! What? There's two of them? Mitsuru! Takeba! <laughs> Son, gotta draw the shadows away. Yeah, I'm on it. Hey, if it's a fight you want, then you've got it. Akihiko, be careful. Normal attacks don't work on them. Hey, what the? Uh, Uka. No, what are you doing here? Hey, come back! Please, get out of here! It's not safe! I... I had to tell you. I'm sorry. Hey! Look out! I have to protect her! Yamagishi-san? A persona? I can see. I... I can see these monsters' weaknesses. Can it be? Just as I thought. Mitsuru, let her take her place. We'll handle these guys. for the monster's weaknesses. Please, give me some time.
It's over. Luca, you... Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Luca! It's all right. She's just exhausted. Luca, Luca, I... Where did those two shadows come from? Somewhere outside of Tartarus. Just like with the dorm and the monorail. Outside, huh? Uh, what are we gonna do about Moriyama-san? She knows about the Dark Hour and the Shadows. It doesn't matter. She's not like us, so she won't remember anything that happens in the Dark Hour. 
The good news is she didn't fall victim to the shadows despite hearing their call. So I don't think she'll get drawn in again. She's safe now. But doesn't that mean she'll forget Yamagishi-san saved her life? That doesn't seem right. Actually, I get the feeling that things will work out. I'm sorry, Fuka. I'm so sorry. It looks like she's learned her lesson. I'm sorry! <laughs> Okay, then. I keep running into you at the weirdest times. You remembered what we talked about last time. Nothing gets past you, eh? So, yeah. I just got back from the hospital. They had the results from my last exam. And, well, I... Ah! You gotta be kidding! Why can't I stand up? Thanks. Funny, huh? All from just crouching down to tie my shoes. Good thing you were around. If it were anyone else, then the rest of the team would have found out. Thanks, man. I'm really grateful to have you as a friend.
All right, I'm gonna go train by myself. Even if practice is over, can't skip out on training. Big Meat's not that far off. You're heading home, right? Then we'll train together next time. Take it easy. Sorry you went out of your way to stop by, but it was a quick meeting. Everyone left already. It's nice not having those hyenas around. There's something I want to take care of before I go home. It's that cigarette butt in the boys' bathroom. I have to hurry and narrow down my suspects. So, as you can see, we can't exactly hold a meeting right now. You can leave if you want. I see. If you're not in a hurry, can you spare a few minutes? I'd like to share something. A man without position, honor, or education? What does he cling to as he struggles through life? Sincerity, a man once told me. Do you want to know what happened to that man? Well, a TV anchorwoman was injured on the job while reporting on a story. The TV station executives deemed it an unfortunate accident. But when a magazine caught wind that they were hiding something, the execs threw the writer under the bus. They said it was the writer who covered up the truth. They turned him into a scapegoat. And now, that man is blacklisted from the TV industry, his life's calling. The same man who taught me the meaning of sincerity. He 
in today's society, the weak are preyed upon by the strong. You can't survive on sincerity alone. As for me, I want to lead an organization that fosters strength. And to do that, order is essential if I want to keep those with power in check. a good spot to call it a day. Shall we head out together? Hey, man. Sorry to make you come here. I, uh, uh, damn it. Yeah, I, I, dude, it's bad. I don't know what to do. The school found out about Emmy and me. It blew up and became this huge thing. And now she's being transferred to a school in Kyushu. What do I do? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I mean, I want to. Only, Emiri said I can't. It's like, all of a sudden, she won't answer my calls or reply to my texts. She's probably only doing this to protect me, but still. I can't just sit here and do nothing. I gotta think of a plan, and I'm gonna need your help. for hearing me out today. So, you're Fukuyama Gishikun, right? Y yes 
<laughs> Relax, there's no need to be nervous. Go on and have a seat. Uh, okay. I just want to quickly mention that everyone did an excellent job uncovering the truth. Uh, and one other thing to report. I've heard that all three girls have regained consciousness. That's great news! From what I understand, they each came to the school around midnight and waited for the security guard to leave. Then, once the dark hour began, they were attacked by shadows near the gate. Because of the situation's similarities to an old ghost story, rumors naturally spread quickly. I knew right from the beginning that it wasn't a ghost. It's all my fault. What? Where'd you get that from? You were the victim in all this. But all of those rumors started because I was absent for so long. That's totally not your fault. I don't think we could have won that fight if you hadn't been there. You saved our lives. That's not something just anyone could have done. Take pride in that. You have a special power that you can use to help others. A special power? We call it Persona. And right now, our group absolutely needs your abilities. Can we count on you to help us? Are you asking me to join you? That's right. Yuricho-senpai. <sighs> I think you'd make a good addition to the team, too. Sanada-senpai. You know we're not trying to pressure you. So if you need some time to think about it... I'll do it. It would be my honor. What? Are you sure? If you do join, you'll have to move into the dorm. That's fine. I'd rather live here than at home anyway. Thank you. We really appreciate this. We'll have the school talk to your parents to resolve any issues. Okay. Thank you. Wait a minute. Aren't we dragging her into this a bit fast? Um, it's okay. Really. One other topic I'd like to discuss is those special shadows. We had another encounter this month. While we still don't know where they're coming from, I do believe Sonata-kun is right. They seem to appear alongside the full moon. This, at least, will help us plan for the future. So... The next full moon is showtime, huh? Knowing when to expect them is a big advantage for us. Now, on the day of the fight, we'll be ready to get in the ring. Morning.
here? Apparently, Mr. Okoda's in hot water. Really? What'd he do? I don't know, but I think it's serious. Sexual harassment, maybe? <laughs> I can totally see that. Uh, um, good morning. <sighs> hey, look! It's the ghost girl! Quiet, she can hear you! Oh, Buka, you're here. Moriyama-san? I heard you started living in the dorms. Yes. You're looking glum today, as usual. Well, if you got something on your mind, you can always talk to me. You could probably use a friend, huh? Moriyama-san. Come on, you don't gotta be so stiff. Just call me Natsuki. Thank you. I just got a text from Kaz. It's for you, but he wanted you to know ASAP, so he texted me too. It says, come to Iwatodai Station. What is that guy thinking? He's get practice today too. Whoa, where's the fire? Yuko was pissed, wasn't she? I've missed a lot of practice lately. I should have told you last time, but um, my x-ray results, the muscles and tendons around my knee are inflamed. The doctor said if I keep pushing it that I, I won't be able to walk anymore. He said I strained it too hard during practice. It's so freaking stupid. I want to win, so I have to practice. Every minute, every second counts. I can't waste any more time. I promised I'd win at next year's meet and become the number one athlete in Japan. Well, because it's not just about me. My nephew got into an accident, and his legs got messed up, and now, he can't walk. But if he goes through rehab, he might be able to recover. He says the rehab hurts too much, though, so he doesn't want to do it. He's only five, you know? There's still so much he hasn't done yet. So, I made a deal with my nephew. Just, uh, don't laugh, okay? If I become number one in Japan, he'll agree to go through rehab. That's why I have to win this meet. So I can make it to nationals. Thanks for caring, man. But I can't worry about that now. Sorry for all the trouble I've caused. And for all the depressing conversations. It's really tough keeping it all bottled up. You were the only one I could talk to. Yuko has good instincts when it comes to this stuff, so she might say something to you. Tell her to come talk to me if she does. 
I don't want to drag you into this any deeper. 